Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Television, often regarded as one of the greatest inventions of the 20th century, has revolutionized the way we consume information and entertainment. From its humble beginnings to the modern-day smart TVs, the journey of television is a fascinating tale of innovation, technological advancements, and cultural impact. In this video, we will take a deep dive into the detailed history of television, exploring how it has evolved over the decades. The concept of television can be traced back to the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The journey began with the discovery of electromagnetism by James Clerk Maxwell in the 1860s, which laid the foundation for the transmission of images over distances. However, it was the work of several inventors and scientists in the early 20th century that truly paved the way for television as we know it. One of the key figures in the development of television was Paul Nipkow, a German engineer, who invented the Nipkow disk in 1884. This mechanical device used a rotating disk with perforations to scan images and transmit them through a series of electrical impulses. Although rudimentary, Nipkow's invention was the first attempt at creating a working model for television. The early 1920s saw significant advancements in television technology. John Logie Baird, a Scottish inventor, is often credited with creating the first working television system. In 1925, Baird successfully demonstrated the transmission of moving images using a mechanical system. His work culminated in the first public demonstration of a television in 1926 in London, where he showcased live moving images to a captivated audience. Meanwhile, in the United States, Philo Farnsworth, a young American inventor, was making strides in electronic television. Farnsworth developed the first fully electronic television system, which used a device called the Image Dissector to capture moving images and convert them into electronic signals. In 1927, he successfully transmitted the first electronic television image, a simple line, thus marking a significant milestone in television history. Another pivotal figure was Vladimir Zwarikin, a Russian-American engineer who worked for the Westinghouse Electric Corporation and later for RCA, Radio Corporation of America. Zwarikin developed the iconoscope, an early form of a television camera tube, which significantly improved the quality of transmitted images. His work, along with Farnsworth's, laid the groundwork for the electronic television systems that would dominate the mid-20th century. The 1930s and 1940s were crucial decades for the development and commercialization of television. With technological advancements and the establishment of broadcast standards, television began to transition from experimental demonstrations to a mass medium. In 1936, the BBC, British Broadcasting Corporation, launched the world's first regular high-definition television service, broadcasting from Alexandra Palace in London. The service used Baird's mechanical system initially, but soon switched to the all-electronic Marconi EMI system, which offered better picture quality. This marked the beginning of scheduled television programming and set the stage for future developments in broadcast television. In the United States, the Federal Communications Commission, FCC, played a significant role in the standardization and regulation of television broadcasting. In 1941, the FCC approved the NTSC, National Television System Committee, standard for black and white television, which defined the technical specifications for broadcast signals. This standardization was crucial for the widespread adoption of television as it ensured compatibility between different television sets and broadcast signals. World War II temporarily halted the progress of television, but the post-war era saw a rapid expansion of the medium. 
The late 1940s and early 1950s were marked by the establishment of major television networks such as NBC, National Broadcasting Company, CBS, Columbia Broadcasting System, and ABC, American Broadcasting Company, in the United States. These networks began to produce and broadcast a variety of programs, including news, sports, dramas, and comedies, which attracted a growing audience. The 1950s also witnessed the introduction of color television. While the concept of color television had been explored as early as the 1920s, it wasn't until the development of the NTSC color standard in 1953 that color television became commercially viable. The first color broadcast in the United States took place in 1954, and although color television sets were initially expensive, they gradually became more affordable and widespread. The 1950s and 1960s are often referred to as the golden age of television. During this period, television became a dominant form of entertainment and a powerful cultural force. This era saw the rise of iconic television shows, the expansion of television networks, and significant advancements in production techniques. One of the defining characteristics of the golden age of television was the emergence of anthology drama series. Shows like Playhouse 90 and The Twilight Zone brought high-quality original storytelling to the small screen, often featuring prominent writers, directors, and actors. These shows pushed the boundaries of what television could achieve in terms of narrative complexity and artistic expression. News and current affairs programming also gained prominence during this era. Edward R. Murrow, a pioneering broadcast journalist, set high standards for television journalism with his program See It Now. Murrow's fearless reporting and incisive interviews brought critical issues to the forefront and demonstrated the power of television as a tool for informing the public. Technological advancements during this period further enhanced the television viewing experience. The introduction of videotape recording in the late 1950s revolutionized television production allowing for the editing and preservation of programs. This technology also facilitated the growth of syndication, where television shows could be sold and broadcast across different markets, extending their reach and popularity. The golden age of television also saw significant changes in the way television content was consumed. The proliferation of television sets in households meant that television became a central part of daily life. Family members would gather around the TV to watch their favorite shows, creating a shared cultural experience. The influence of television on popular culture was profound, shaping fashion, language, and social attitudes. The 1970s and 1980s brought significant changes to the television landscape with the rise of cable and satellite television. Cable television, initially developed to provide TV service to remote areas, began to offer a wider array of channels and improved picture quality. The introduction of premium cable channels like HBO in the 1970s provided viewers with access to movies and exclusive content not available on network television. Satellite television also emerged as a major player during this time. Early satellite systems were primarily used for commercial and government purposes, but by the late 1970s, consumer satellite dishes became available. This allowed viewers to access a wide range of channels from around the world, further expanding the variety of programming available. The 1980s saw the rise of cable networks like CNN, MTV, and ESPN, which specialized in news, music, and sports, respectively. The introduction of pay-per-view services also allowed viewers to watch special events like boxing matches and concerts from the comfort of their homes. The late 20th and early 21st centuries witnessed the digital revolution, transforming the television industry once again. The transition from analog to digital broadcasting began in the late 1990s and was completed in many countries by the mid-2000s digital television offered superior picture and sound quality, as well as the ability to broadcast multiple channels in the same bandwidth. High-definition television, HDTV, became the new standard providing a much clearer and more detailed picture than standard-definition television. 
The introduction of flat panel display technologies, such as LCD and plasma screens, further enhanced the viewing experience. These new televisions were thinner, lighter, and more energy efficient than their cathode ray tube CRT, predecessors. The rise of the internet also had a profound impact on television. Streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video emerged in the late 2000s, offering viewers the ability to watch a vast library of content on demand. This shift from scheduled programming to on-demand viewing disrupted traditional television business models and changed the way people consumed media. The introduction of smart TVs, which could connect to the internet and run apps, further blurred the lines between television and computer screens. As we look to the future, the television industry continues to evolve with new technologies and trends shaping the way we consume content. From advancements in display technology to the integration of artificial intelligence, the future of television promises exciting possibilities. The history of television is a remarkable journey of innovation, creativity, and cultural impact. From the early experiments of Nipkow and Baird to the digital revolution and the rise of streaming services, television has continually evolved to meet the changing needs and preferences of viewers. As we look to the future, advancements in technology and the integration of artificial intelligence promise to further transform the television landscape. The rise of interactive and immersive experiences will provide new ways to engage with content, creating a more personalized and dynamic viewing experience. Television has come a long way since its inception, and its future is full of exciting possibilities. Whether through traditional broadcast, cable, or streaming services, television will continue to be a central part of our lives, entertaining, informing, and inspiring audiences around the world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history and making of television. If you enjoyed this video, please keep tuning in for more in-depth explorations of the technologies and innovations that shape our world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.